Hi everybody, Antonia here from Bumpy Crafts. I'm coming on today because it's been a little while and I just wanted to show you some finished objects that I've completed and my work in progress at the moment and then a few yarns that I've put in the shop. So what you're looking at now is my um, beautiful bide shawl and the pattern is by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade and I knitted this with um, four Malabrigo yarn colours and it's in a chunky yarn as well so it knitted up I think three days it took me so I, I started off with a the paler colour at the top and I'll put the colours in the description and then I blended it into this darker blue and then I added a green here and then the gold and then the tassels it has three tassels on the pattern and the other one's obviously on this edge here so it's a triangular shawl um, and yeah I really loved making this as I say it was really quick because it's a chunky yarn anyway um, it's got eyelets throughout and it's on a V and I did the large size so it it took nearly all four skeins as well um, but this um, I've used it as sort of like a, a wrap to keep me warm instead of having a coat I've used it as a scarf and then you can also use it to um, cross over your chest and you can tie it at the back so it's almost like a armless sweater a tank top um, so yes, yeah, so I was really pleased with that. So that's my Bide Shawl by Helen Stewart in the large size. I think in my last video I was uh, knitting on these. These are my whip. These are my Sanctuary socks. And um, I finished these a little while ago. So these are knit in Bumpy Yarn and it's Drag Race colourway. Um, and the pattern is by Christine Perry of Winnick Mum. And these are her... Um, sanctuary socks and they're the slalom cable all the way through so I was really pleased with these I like them a lot let's put that on I did do a slight design feature so the toe is just supposed to have um, this effect here on the top but I put it on the bottom and the top as well and it actually reinforces the toes and you can't feel it on the underside so that's my sanctuary socks and I'm really pleased with how they knitted up in this yarn I think. If I bring it closer you can really see the cable well and there's just enough pop of colour. So yeah, so that's my two finished whips. I did knit also a close to shawl in my last video, I was working on it, it was gold sparkle, gold and silver sparkle. Um, so I finished that and that was a gift for my neighbour um, because her daughter had passed away so she was thrilled with that so I'm really pleased. Um, so unfortunately I don't have any pictures to show you um, but yeah so they're my whips that I've finished so my finished objects and I'll show you what I'm currently working on so I'm working on a shawl by Hohi Locatelli and the shawl that I'm currently working on is called nothing like being prepared slow curves so I'll show you the pattern front so you normally knit it, I think it's four skeins of yarn, but I decided to do it in three. And again, I'll put the colourways uh, in the description for you. So this is the pattern by Hohi Locatelli. I'm using a Bumpy Crafts medium-sized project bag. And I've got my yarn sacks to keep my yarn separate. So this, as I say, let's see, it's on the right side. Now this way. I'm using a stitch marker by um, Cheryl Cunliffe of Chapel View Crafts. I love her biscuit and cake um, stitch markers. So this is um, slow curve. So this is worked with wrap and turn and it creates um, sort of triangle sections. So the eyelets go, so it's sort of wider on one side. It narrows down here to a point and then it starts again and then when you introduce a second colour or a third colour so as I say I did just one colour here and I should have done two but I wanted mainly to have this colour yarn because I really like the colours here this is from Yarn Cafe Creations um, and so then I introduced this lilac colour but you can see here where you introduce it you do it as um, sort of like a stripe 
so it blends really well. So I'm doing the three colours. So I've got the lilac blending into this multicoloured one and then the next colour I'm going to add is a charcoal grey which will pick up um, the grey in the other yarns. So you can see it here. So I thought that would be good to finish it off. Move that out of the way and pick up these darker pops here. So yeah, so that's going to be my spring shawl. I'm probably going to have that for me. So that's slow curves. So that's what the whip I'm working on at the moment. And then I'll show you the yarns that I've just put in the shop. Okay, so this is Spearmint Ice. It's on our soft sock and it is 75% merino, 25% nylon. It's got this beautiful blue, really bold blue running through it with lots of other colours. But I, yeah, I really like this one. So it's Spearmint Ice. There's only one of these in the shop. And then the next one I want to show you is Craggy Island. So I did this in tribute of St. Patrick's Day. This is a beautiful green and it's got shades of brown and shades of grey in it and then I've teamed it as a sock set with a charcoal grey as well. And it's named Craggy Island after the fantastic Channel 4 TV series Father Ted and if you haven't seen it have a look on YouTube at Father Ted, it's hilarious. And Craggy Island is where it's set um, and so I did this beautiful green yarn as I say with shades of browns and greys. This is on our sturdy sock so this is wool nylon. So it's a little bit of a tougher yarn for, for socks. But yeah, it's beautiful. It's got a great sheen to it. And I think we've got three of these in the shop at the moment. So the next colourway I want to show you is peach. And this is another sock set. This has beautiful oranges, deep pinks, light pinks, almost a mauve. It's a really rich colourway. It's lovely. And I thought it represented the skin of a peach so well. Um, and then I teamed it with a bear mini because I felt it represented the flesh of a peach really well. I thought that was lovely, a really nice one. I've got two of these in the shop and they are on a soft sock, which is 75% merino, 25% nylon. And as I say, just a really lovely colour. You can see that sort of mauve there as well. So yeah, so that's peach. The next yarn I wanted to show you is Popsicle. I had three or four of these in the shop. This is the last one left now. Um, and you can see here it's got pops of colour. It's got mauves, turquoise, pinks, charcoal greys, lemon yellows. You can see it's got pops of colour all the way through it. It's a really lovely yarn. And again, it's on our soft sock, which is 75% merino, 25% nylon. This yarn's great for socks or for shawls or colour work. It's just a really lovely yarn, very soft. And yeah, I love this colourway. And as I say, it's the last one, the rest of them have sold out. So that's Popsicle. The next yarns I wanted to show you is uh, my mini sets. And this is from Frozen 2. Um, so there's five skeins in the set and they're 20 grams each in weight. So this is um, Gale and you can see it's got oranges, pinks, pale lilacs, reds, um, burnt oranges. So if you've seen Frozen 2, that's Gale and um, it's the five elements from Frozen 2. This one here is the sparkle yarn. Let's see if I can get it to sparkle on camera. Not sure if I'm going to be able to. Um, but it's a pale blue and a cream. Oh, it's just starting to sparkle there. And this is Elsa because Elsa was the fifth element in the film Frozen 2. Um, and then this one here is Nock. And Nock was the horse, the water horse in Frozen 2. And this is lots of different blues, some sort of turquoises. It's almost like a denim blue, sky blue. So as I say, that's Nock. And then this one here is a charcoal grey with greens and browns. And this one is Earth Giants, which was another element. And this one here, the last one was Bruni or Brunei. And um, he was another, he was the fire sign, I believe, of the fifth elements. So this is deep mauves, um, 
purples, lilacs, bright pinks, um, fuchsia pink as well. Um, so that's the five mini skeins and this is on our sturdy sock. So it's 75% wool, 25% nylon. Um, and that's, I think we've probably got about seven or eight of these in the shop at the moment because I tried to make sure that I did enough for everybody who would want it. Everyone who loves Frozen 2 basically. I thought it was a really nice tribute to that film. I really enjoyed it. So that's our mini skeins. So the next yarn I want to show you is Chick and this was in my shop last springtime. It's a beautiful yellow, so a very delicate, almost buttermilk or lemon yellow and it has speckles with blues and browns, reds, pinks, you can see some blues there and I really tried to capture the colour of a chick um, and then all the sort of the beak and the eyes and the dark feathers that it gets. So that's chick and this is on our soft sock which is 75% merino, 25% nylon. You can see that it's such a lovely colourway very delicate and light. And then we've got four of these in the shop. And the last colourway I want to show you is spring and again it's on soft sock which is 75% merino, 25% nylon and spring is um, a sort of a greeny blue. It's a lovely colourway. It's got splashes of um, a sort of a darker blue or green, depends how you look at it with pops of colour, so again we've got browns, reds, blues, yellows and I thought this really showed spring well you see there are lots more pops of colour that's a really lovely colourway, I thought it would be great for a shawl or for socks gives you lots of options if you want to put it with any other colours um, and there's four of these in the shop, so that's spring so that's all the yarns that I had to show you today I hope you enjoyed seeing my finished objects and my whip, my slow curve shawl. Uh, I'm really enjoying working on that at the moment, especially with the way it is in our current climate. Uh, it's crazy times and I find for me knitting and crocheting really relaxing. Um, and so I'm looking forward to just spending some time working on that. Um, I've got a lovely project that I'm working on. Uh, for my shop. It's a yarn and a bag bag combination so I'm hoping to launch that probably within the next month or so um, but I'm really excited about that. I just wanted to say look after yourselves, stay safe and um, I'll catch up with you again soon. Happy knitting and crocheting everyone. Take care.